Welcome back. You know, it's that time of year for many of us. Time to dive back into our health care options and plans to choose what's right in 2022. Here with some timely info and some tips, we got Carrie Kincaid from Priority Health. Hey, Carrie. Good morning, Todd. Good morning to you. So open enrollment. We've got a deadline, obviously. We only have a certain window to do this for most of us. Talk to us about when we should be doing this. Is it a rush? Uh, it, it is, yes. So the open enrollment period, otherwise known as OEP, is the annual time where you have to re-enroll in your benefits, even if you recently went through the SCP or the special enrollment period. And it's very important that you re-enroll by December 15th to avoid any gaps in coverage. This will get you enrolled in your new policy starting on January 1st of next year. If you happen to miss that period of time, the Biden administration did do a one-year extension this year, and they have open enrollment open through January 15th of this year, but that's going to leave you without coverage for the month of January. Yeah, if you, you don't want that gap. Obviously, you want to avoid that. You said the no. 15th, which is less than a week away. So let's talk about what to consider when shopping for a health care plan. There are so many different things to look at. It seems kind of daunting for many. It definitely can be. Um, the first thing that people should consider is that through the American Rescue Plan, subsidies were really increased this past year, and those are going to be lasting through next year as well. So I recommend that everyone go out and check subsidies again. The stat that CMS has provided is that four out of five people can find a product out there for less than $10 a month right now. So truly strong subsidies. So look to see what kind of financial assistance you can get for these products. Um, the next thing that you need to consider is what are your family needs going into the marketplace? Do you have specific prescription drugs that are important to you? There are tools out there to help you assess that your product will cover those. Um, what doctors are important to you? Definitely look at your plans network. Make sure you have a product that has the network that's going to cover you for the providers and hospitals that you prefer to see. And then consider things like um, an HSA, which maybe will help you save some money on your product along the way and help with some of those high deductibles. You know, Carrie, when we went uh, through, the, we're going still through this pandemic, a lot of virtual doctor visits happened. Is, is virtual happening? Uh, when it, does it have any effect or change on these plans? Absolutely, yes. Um, there was a, a big shift to virtual care. And the more people who tried out virtual care, the more that they found that they really, really liked it. It's convenient to get care just in the comfort of your own home and the quality of care is there. So we had launched a new product last year that um, had a lot of membership come to that product called the telehealth PCP product. Another unmet need that it was out there that we are focusing on this year is um, this pandemic changed people's behavior as well too, that they're not expected in the office as much and it's given more freedom for travel and you can work wherever you want. So we've also launched some new My Priority travel plans to kind of meet your needs and serve you around the nation. Yeah, if you're definitely doing some traveling, you're going to want to look into that. How do people get started? Where should they, what's the first step? There's four great ways to look for coverage. You can always start at healthcare.gov, which is the marketplace, and that'll show you all your options. And it's a great way to procure those subsidies we were talking about. Um, outside of that, working through a licensed agent who is very knowledgeable is a great way. Next, you can move to uh, private insurers health plan websites like mypriority.com. And then many of us have enrollment specialists, our numbers on our website. If you wanna have a more in-depth conversation to maybe understand things like if a travel plan or telehealth option is right for you. Absolutely, they are there to help with that toll-free number. Carrie, thank you so much for the information. You wanna learn more, priorityhealth.com, a great place to start, or call toll-free toll free, 833-997-1344.